Hello everybody, and welcome to a slightly different video than what we've done before here on Justin Loves the Tech. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the LBATS, aka Lightning Bats X8 Gaming Mouse. And you might not have heard of this company before, and that's because from what I can tell online, they've only been around for a few months. But that gives this product a very interesting place. They built a very solid quality gaming mouse at a very affordable t price. Uh, this one is $22 right now on Amazon. You can get it in the link below in the description if you want. And so yeah, uh, let's take a look at the product itself, starting off with the box. Um, so on the front, you got a picture of the mouse, the name of the mouse, and the logo. On the side, you just uh, have your pick here, whether you got the silver or gray model, it'll show you there. On the other side, there's the barcode and just the name again. And on the back, there is a little bit of information about the company making this a very simple box design. So, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, I have uh, opened this up and tried it out before, so this isn't completely the stock opening, but it's very close. There is no tape, so you just go ahead and pull off the sleeve, and then inside you're greeted with this nice little cardboard box with these cutouts. Just pull it open, and inside you will find the mouse in a little plastic enclosure to help keep it in place in shipping. And we're gonna put that aside for now. Just take that out and take a look at what is left in the box. So on the top here, we have the software disk. This has the software for the mouse, enabling you to control the macros and the lighting on it. Note this only works on Windows. The mouse works on Windows and Mac, but the software is Windows only. And then next, we have a products catalog in the box. And that's the last thing. Take a look at it, and it basically just shows you, plug it in your computer, make sure your computer is on, and there is another side, which shows you a few of the features which we will go over. Now, looking at the mouse itself, one of the first things that you will notice is that it has a quite high quality braided black and yellow cable, making it so that it's quite hard to damage the cable. Also, there is a quite solid plug-in connector, which may cause issues if you have very tight USB ports, but other than that, it should be just fine, and shouldn't get damaged anytime soon. As you can see, there's a bit of flex in it but it is a very sturdy connector. Taking a look at the mouse itself, you can see it's nice aluminum construction, and I have done uh, some simple tests, and this is definitely an aluminum alloy, um, including the scroll wheel layer is also aluminum. Just do a little tour here on top, you can see the scroll wheel, the left and right mouse button, then you have the G6 and G7 buttons, which adjust the DPI up and down. One thing that's a little counterintuitive, um, if you just stick with the defaults, is hitting down, adjusts the profile down, which actually moves the DPI up, and hitting up adjusts the profile up, which actually moves the DPI down. So you might want to switch that, but it's not something that's a big deal. On the sides, you have your three macro buttons that can be programmed as a single button click or multiple button clicks. Um, by default, these do uh, different actions depending on what you're in, but if you're in a web browser, they go forward and back. This guy here is your fire button, which will do a triple left click um, one thing to note is this is a little hard to press, but I think that's kind of a good thing as it's not going to be an immediate use button. Um, it's something you're going to want to press when you press it. So that's not necessarily something horrible. On the bottom here, you can see the sensor, which I have not had any issues with, and it tracks very well on pretty much anything. Um, I don't know about you, but I like to game not only at my desk, but on my laptop. So sometimes I'm on my lap, sometimes I'm on a table, um, sometimes I'm on a couch. And... I have only ever had one surface this wouldn't track on, and for this, that's pretty good. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 on tracking surfaces. When it's on a surface it tracks on, it will not have any problems whatsoever. Uh, you will also notice there's a little button down here, and this is to change the profiles. It actually has five different profiles that you can just cycle through by hitting this button, and that way you can have five different map sets of macros on the different buttons. Also, down here, you have the four separate weights that can be added or removed, but come installed by factory defaults uh, to help you adjust both the balance and overall weight of the mouse, if that is your thing. Down here, you can see there's these two little spots where you can kind of poke your finger into the mouse, and that right there is where you have your backlighting LEDs coming out, so that the entire desk around the mouse will, like, glow the color it is. Now, one thing that's notable, especially if you're picking a blue or a green color on this mouse, is the light from the sensor actually does shine through, and you can see it a little bit down below when it dims. Um, it's not a huge deal, but I'd love to see that um, change in a future revision. I mean, even just a little cover over the thing. 
because uh, it is a little touches, but overall it's not something that messes with the mouse. So one thing about this mouse is it is a smaller mouse and it feels very good in your hands, it fits in nicely, and it's very comfortable to use for extended periods of time. But due to the fact that it has a very simple design, if you're someone who uses a mouse left-handed, it actually does feel quite good. And I am someone who is able to use a mouse with both right and left hand, and this is the best mouse that I've ever used for that. So, if you like to use your mice left-handed, this is a real good choice for you. So let's plug this into the computer and take a look at the software end of it. Okay, so first off, let's go and check it out on Amazon, where it's best to pick up right now. Um, as you can see, it's this middle link right here. And it's a very affordable $22 right now. It's usually a bit more expensive, but uh, it's still quite affordable and quite reasonable. Uh, scroll down, you can see this uh, 4000 DPI mouse. And scroll down a bit more. And you can see that it's got nothing but positive reviews from everybody. So the one thing is, though, when you're looking for the drivers, they are actually on a different website than you might expect. They're on this myshopify.com website. So this is actually where the official drivers are. And if you scroll down to find the drivers, you can see they're at uh, delivery.myshopify.com. Um, so it'd be nice if they could get their own website, but it's not a huge deal. Um, so you just go ahead and download them. They're in a zip file. You just extract it. And it's a pretty simple install. Basically, you just click next, 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 install, finish. And it'll bring up a little thing in your system tray. And go ahead and open that up. And here's the software itself. Um, so as you can see, you can save and load things. So you can transfer in between and also reset. Uh, this is where you can adjust all the settings. Then in here, you can adjust the DPI of each different step. Um, as you can see, it adjusts very far. Also, you can adjust from a... 125 megahertz all the way up to 1,000 megahertz and your pulling rate. As you can see, this isn't a true RGB mouse. It only has these 32 colors shown right here, but it is still a very good selection. Um, so, yeah, you can adjust it from 150 and 25% brightness. There is also a slider for how fast the lights flash. And um, there is this button that says on, which you think would turn the... Uh, fading off so it's just solid but it doesn't currently work um, i would expect a software update soon but the completely off button does function perfectly fine then over here we can create a new macro so for an example just have one that types in your password when you hit the button so it types in my password you just hit new start you type it in end and then you can uh, have it loop and do different settings over here and it's pretty simple uh it's really pretty easy to do so Yep. Then if we go and save it, I'm going to save it right in here. There we go. Type password. And so, I mean, it's never really a good idea to have a button type your password. But then we just go in and custom macro. So right there, if you really want to have a button type your password, it's pretty easy. Uh, just going through all the different settings. You can have it shift and do buttons. You can have it do media control, volume stuff. Um, and really, it has a good selection uh, without even making your own macros here. So I think overall, it's a pretty decent piece of software. So that's a look at the software. It might not be perfect, but it does what it needs to do. And that's kind of my review of this mouse. So it is a very solid mouse. And you've got to remember, this costs only $20. That is a very affordable mouse. And really... If this was from a brand you know, it'd probably be three or four times that cost. It is a very solid build. It feels very sturdy, and I really like this, and would recommend it to anyone looking for an affordable mouse. If you would like to purchase one of these, or check it out at least, um, link down in the description below uh, will take you to its product page on Amazon. Um, I'd like to say this was a my first sponsored video, so first off, thanks. And second off... It's always good to say that. Um, they aren't paying me, but they did send me this mouse for the review. If you would like to see more videos like this, because I do have other mice and products that I can review, just let me know by hitting the thumbs up button or comment down below. If you really hated this video for some reason or another, put the thumbs down button, but please let me know what you didn't like about it and what you would like to see in future videos, because I would really like to start getting videos up here. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're really interested to in seeing what might come out in the future, and, uh, thank you for watching.